Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to easily do the ward glitch to get as much gold bullion as you want. Now, I get this question a lot on how to do this effectively and fast so you can farm this as fast as possible. So I'll be showing you the best way and the locations on where to find the devices to do this glitch. With that said, I'm not going to waste any more of your time with an intro, so let's get right into it. So the first location we have is drop site V9. Now from my experience from hunting for these devices, I have found the devices at this site quite a few times and not usually just one. Sometimes I find multiple items here. As you can see in the video, if you go to the spot right where I am, right outside this little bunker, you just go along this path and sometimes you will find the device right on this path. Not always, but sometimes you will. Now, like I say, these are just possible locations for the items to spawn, and these are the locations that I have had the most luck with. So if you just follow this path, you might find one of those devices. The next location we have is going to be Survey Camp Alpha, which is going to be in the Cranberry Bog as well. So follow the path like I do, and I have usually found the Multiscope and a couple other items along this path right here. If it's not here, then you can jump to one of the next locations. I will say I probably have the least luck at this location, so maybe as a last resort. The next location we have is Camp Venture. Now I've had quite some good luck finding the devices at this location. Not the best place, but still some pretty good luck finding the devices here. As you can also see, it's just above the Cranberry Bog area. Now you're going to make your way off to the side like I do. I always pinpoint this big rock that stands out because the devices usually spawn in this little field right here by this rock, usually right where I am looking. Next up, we have the Seneca Rocks Visitor Center. Now this place, I've had quite some luck as well. Probably not the best, but I still find it here often. It's going to be right in the road, usually in this location where you see in the video. As you can see, just make your way down this road and usually it's within from the gas station to about that abandoned truck there that you'll find it. Berkeley Springs is going to be our next location. This, I've had quite a bit of good luck finding it here. I'd say this is the third best place to find the items. As you come here, you just look on the road, and usually it will spawn somewhere on this road. Sometimes it's usually right where you spawn, or it's right at this little cross section here where the roads come to meet. Now, like I said, this is probably the third best location to find the devices, in my opinion. I've had quite some good luck here. Now the next location we have is the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. Now I want to say this is probably my number one location to go for for the devices. I have usually found more than one device here. Sometimes I'll find one to three devices stacked on each other in this exact spot. Also when you're here you can come disable the flamethrower traps which are very nifty to get aluminum, fuel, and other materials. So I usually come here just so I can disable all these flamethrower traps and get all the extra material plus the fuel that I usually sell because I don't use the fuel. I usually sell it at my vendor and make a decent amount of caps off of it. Now I get asked this question a lot on why people aren't able to disable these sometimes and it's because you need the home defense work on shit. The home defense perk card level three to disable these so make sure you have that on so you can disable these when you come here you can come to each spot and disable these for a good amount of material now the second best location i find is the willard corporate housing this is one of the better places to find the devices and i usually find it right when i spawn as you can see you look right down here on the road and it usually spawns right there kind of right by that little trailer house now once you have one of these devices, you're going to want to store the device and make sure that you do this before you activate the quest. It makes it a little easier. Once you've stored the device, you're going to quit. So once you're back in the server, you are going to have that quest activated and then you are going to notice that I have the turret circuit board. So you're going to want to grab the item out of your inventory, run back up to ward, and let me show you really quick just to get you an idea of what the turret circuit board looks like, which I'm sure you're all aware of, but here is this, this is what it looks like here. 
So you'll know you'll have that key item because there will be a little diamond next to it because it's a quest item for this specific quest. So once you have that item and you have the other item that you found on you at the same time, you're going to run up toward here and then you are going to interact with him, let him finish his speech, make sure he finishes before you choose the first option. Choose that first option, you will complete the quest, and then once you have gotten the rewards for this, you are going to want to store that item that you have, aka the water-cooled bone saw, or the intrusion module, or the microscope, etc. And then you leave the server and join back. Now note that you want to put the item back into your inventory every time you leave just so it doesn't glitches out the quest. So once you put that item back in your inventory, quit the game and then join back to a new server. It doesn't matter if it's a private or an open world one. Now I also will say that you are more likely to find these items in a public server than you will in a private server. I have had way better luck with the quest items in a public than in a private. That's because people are actively usually doing the quest or have it open, and so those raiders are running around with those stolen items, and usually they're left on the ground. Anyways, there you have it. Hopefully this video helps farm the heck out of this because it's been around for quite some time, and we will catch you next time. Ooh Press the damn subscribe button already.